so good to be here. I've, hi, everybody. Oh, my heart is so filled with love for all of you, and I don't even know your names, but he does. Anyway, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be with you and, and love Jesus with you. It's just, anytime I come in here, I feel like, boom, I'm surrounded with love, and I'm so glad to be here. And um, Anyway, I wanted to tell you a testimony that makes me really happy because I'm well. I'm standing here, and yeah, I'm just really happy about that because nobody likes to be sick. Ooh, it's not fun. And um, I just wanted to tell you this one thing that happened to me while I was in the hospital. And, and um, just in all honesty, I was pretty weak f in the flesh, not in myself, in my spirit. But I was very weak in the flesh, and I was very, very sick. And I was in the hospital five days. That's a number of grace, you know. I couldn't wait to get out of there. <laughs> but I was grateful, grateful for all they did for me and helped me through that time. And I had diverticulitis just so, or I fought that. No, I didn't fight anything. Just It was just trying to get a hold of me. But I just couldn't speak the word out. I was in that bed, and I, was, I tried, and I just would... I just was too weak, honestly. So I took my phone, and I put the scriptures on there. You know how they have them? And I took that, and I laid it on my gut while I'm in the bed. And I slept with the word going through me like that. When it shut off, I woke up, turned it back on. Well, one of those nights while I was in the hospital doing that, my spirit is always awake, but it brought my soul to attention. So I woke up but not really. I woke up and I saw on the outside of my body, there were all kinds of things trying to force their way in. There was disease and sickness and lies and deception and uh, things that I had even said that I repented of, but they were trying to get into my gut and take my life. And on the inside of me, the Lord showed me that all that word, that living, breathing, abiding word was on the inside of me. And as you, you were singing this morning, I win my battles. That word was not fighting. That word was resting. Roxy, correct me on that. It was resting on the inside of me, standing there, doing nothing but being the word, the strength, the power, the healing, the love, the presence of Jesus. It was on the inside of me, it was just standing there. Like, and all these things on the outside were fighting to get in and destroy. And it just couldn't happen to me. And the Lord showed me that. And I just woke up crying in lovely thankfulness to the Lord to show me how wonderful he is to me. And uh, one thing I've learned this week I've been thinking about is Proverbs 18.21. And it says that death, first of all, it says death and life are in the power of your tongue. And whatever fruit you produce you're going to eat that fruit, and that fruit will produce something in your life. So my, my goal is to set a watch over the door of my lips, set a, set a guard there, and to speak what God says. His life, Romans 8, 2 says that the law, the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. We are free from that. We have a life cycle of life to live, and not a life cycle of death, but we can choose either way. And if you say, it's not that you deny what's going on, but you say what God says, and you receive that, and you live in that, and you rest in that. So anyway, that's my testimony for today. And I just want to thank you all for praying for me, for bringing food to me. Oh, that food was so good. I felt, I felt like I was being served like somebody... Like a king, yeah, like, like I was Jesus and you were just serving me with love. And, and I received it all so much. And I just want to say thank you and that I love you all.